First thing I want to do is create a list. So I'm going to key in x equals square brackets, single quotes, Jan, Feb, March. Like so. There's my list. Type of data in x is type list. I now want to create another variable. I'll call that uh, quarter. Quarter 1. That's a good name. Quarter 1. I'm going to assign this the value of everything in X. Um, but I want to set a space as the delimiting character. So we're going to join them together uh, using a space. I'll join what together? All the values in the list structure, the list object called X. Like so. Now if I key in quarter one, you'll see that it's all one single variable. If I key in quarter one, square bracket, so let's say position two, what do you think I'm going to get? I'm going to get the letter N, because N is two, A is one, J is zero. The zeroth position, A at oneth position, twoth position, threeth position, four, five, six, seven, etc. Okay, well, I can understand that, but what's the difference between that and doing something simpler, like y equals convert the x list object to a string and assign it to y? Isn't that easier? Oh my goodness, look at that. First off, what is y? What type of object is y? It's a string object. Well, if it's a string object, then what would be y position 4 or position 3 or position 2 that's better that should be let's see january february march 0 1 2 march is that what it is or is it something more sinister oh yes far more sinister it's position 0 there's position 0 1 and here's 2 it's one entire string, including the square brackets. Square braces brackets have been put into this string using this function. Oh, that's not exactly what I was looking for or hoping for. No, that's what you. But that's what you get with that kind of a of a, an object. With QTR, of course type of data, QTR1, is type string. But QTR1 is more like what you are looking for. You have one variable, has three bits of data and pieces of data in it, and they're delimited by this string character, as shown up here. There's the delimiting space and you've joined them all together with a delimiting space in between each one of the items. Good? All right. That's all I wanted to talk with you about today. This is George Bull signing off. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening.